Echo Simulations have come out with the airport for Manchester, located at a beautiful part of the UK. Before we go further, a word from a sponsor today, BenQ. I got a call recently from Zach who wanted me to try the monitor light. On an average, we spend long hours staring at the screen, which isn't great for the eyes. I was a bit skeptical in the beginning on how this can really help. Use it for a couple of days to see what it really is. It's a light screen bar that has auto dimming features with no screen glare meaning our flight saving experience would still look beautiful without issues, save space, we can also use it as a desk lamp, it's pleasant to the eyes, USB pad, the design is patented and can be attached to any monitor, it includes features such as an auto dimmer, power button, hue adjustment and a manual dimmer. The color temperature is adjustable as you can see either it can be on the warmer side or on the cooler that makes it comfortable to the eyes. You can find the links to this in the description below. Maco Simulations have come out with the airport for Manchester, located at a beautiful part of the UK. This airport is an interesting one and with the World Update 3, this is located in the heart of UK. Very recently was this developed by Maco Simulations who have been passionate on creating quality add-ons. The team of Maco are quite transparent, the Manchester airport have seen few iterations of development that brings more colour towards this product periodically and with their research and development team it appears that they are more interested to further improve this add-on. Over 500 hours of work has been put into this project which is impressive and with a price of 899 this is such a perfect airport. The simulator has seen exponential growth in all areas and few developers are passionate on this platform trying to take it to the next level. With this development in mind, we can expect macro simulations to work on more projects delivering much better content in the days to come. The right collaborations and teams can make this simulator grow beautifully and with a brand new developer, this looks certainly promising. This airport is located in the northern part of England, Manchester airport in short EGCC is one of the busiest in the region, serving domestic as well as international carriers to locations around the world. EasyJet, Virgin, TUI are frequent visitors carrying passengers all over the country as well as the US. With the World Update 3, this airport makes it the next destination and the perfect product to buy and usually some developers don't release versions but when it comes to macro simulations they already have three of them which shows the determination to make it worthwhile. Observing all the details, night lighting, taxiways, taxiway signs, custom jetways, runway lights have been well integrated. Good amount of PBR textures have been used throughout the airport delivering quality overall. Custom models have been worked trying to make sure that the standards of expectations by Microsoft Flight Simulator have been met well. It's quite exceptional to observe good amount of coverage when it comes to night lighting and we can also see utility lights across which is definitely appealing. The waiting area is well lit and developed which appears like a functional busy airport. Taxiways are accurately done with signs. Ground textures is one more thing that is impressive with road markings. We can also observe how the developer has taken into consideration of the I Love Manchester sign on the road which shows the amount of detail they have planned for this project. The airport is priced at $8.99 and when you can expect updates in the future, this can add more value. The quality, content, textures, materials used are top notch here and in the future the developer plans to add terminals with more details trying to make it appear as accurate as possible. In addition to that, custom jetways and other areas can deem useful towards the experience. The team have spent a considerable amount of time to develop this airport right from scratch so you can't find the default part of the airport anywhere in the area. They have researched very well trying to observe all the areas of the airport across the board including terminals and have tried to replicate this airport to appear well integrated so as to keep the accuracy when it comes to lighting, textures, ground movements, aircraft parking and construction areas. The PBR textures have been well utilized here. We can observe custom models that are developed, custom night lighting which is immersive with flashing lights, taxiways are accurate along with signs that are referenced with the latest updated charts. ILS glide slopes and approaches are accurate. Overall, a great airport that can be well worth the purchase. 
Something to note is that this is compatible with Watson and these are exactly the type of developers we need at Microsoft Flight Simulator. I would certainly suggest you to take a look at this airport. Do check the developer's website. I'll put the link in the description below for the direct link. We hope you found this video useful. Do subscribe for more updates coming along the way towards Microsoft Flight Simulator. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Do take care and stay tuned. Thank you.